I got my uh, one hand on it. I'm going to give it one quick hit. Boom. Look at that. See how much that bent over? I'm going to give it the same hit. Here we go. <laughs> I'm pushing on that way harder than I pushed on that one. That one flexed right over. All right, guys, we got to talk real quick about these control arms. So I go to buy bushings. If you buy a complete Moog set online, uh, Chinese bushings, it's about $100 for all four bushings. You need two for each side. Your next option is getting factory OEM bushings, which is the best option because the thing about the Chinese bushings is, at least from my experience at work, they really just don't last. The, that chubber, the Chinese rubber, it dry rots prematurely and breaks apart and crumbles. And, uh, you know, of course you go poly bushings too, but forget about that. They get all squeaky and those crumble apart too, from my experience. So, okay, let's go OEM. Complete OEM control arm, a 240 for each side, or you can get the bushings for like a hundred dollars a piece, or I found them as cheap as 67 for the small one and 76 for the larger one. Uh, so that's probably the option I'm going to go. But anyway, before doing that, I said, man, you can go online on Amazon and get a both control arms for $125 with bushings already installed. I'm like, let me just order them and, and see how they are. And so poundage-wise and, and quality of the build, this thing looks solid. It looks really nice welds on here. It looks good. And it weighs 1.5 pounds less than this one. Of course, this has some grease on it, but 1.5 pounds is considerable. Here's the problem. Uh, this is why I'm not going to use these Chinese control arms. And I'm a weirdo. I'm going to return them. I shouldn't have done this. But uh, check this out. I'll put this screwdriver on here. In the, I'm testing the tensile strength of the steel. And I'm going to take a scale, pull scale. We're going to reset it. And we're going to see how strong this metal is before it bends. So hopefully you have a good image of that picture. Let's go. No bending yet tweaking slightly and boom now it's failed and it's bending over we're at 50 50 pounds so very weak very easy to uh, bend this metal and of course you know you're not too worried about it and sure it would hold up just fine but i don't want that chinese steel on there it's like they throw lead inside of this i mean look how easy that bends right back so if you hit something because i'm really abusive on my truck i mean i i do some crazy stuff with it now on the toyota one Let's throw that on there and see if we can max the scale out and what it does. So, again, we were at 50 pounds when that one flexed. Let me bring it back to right where it was so we get the same leverage. Okay, looks good. We are at 50, and it's we're maxed all the way out, and it's, it's flexed a little bit, but you see how it flexed right back? This metal has a much higher tensile strength and it's just better quality steel. You can flex it, but it bends right back. This stuff, when it flexes, it, uh, it stays there. It doesn't really flex back. Junk. It's Chinese steel, and I'm not gonna use these, because, you know, I know I'm being a super crazy weirdo, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the OEM bushings. I wanna keep raw factory. I don't know what I was, come on, what was I even thinking? I'm already putting an aftermarket rack in it. I already had problems with that. I'm not going with the Chinese. Oh, it's just so darn tempting, $125. You don't have to go pressing bushings. And of course, that's the option for most guys. But just based on my experience, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm, let me just show this comparison one more time. I got my uh, one hand on it. I'm going to give it one quick hit. Boom. Look at that. See how much that bent over? And the Japanese one, or wherever it is made, USA, I'm not sure. I'm going to give it the same hit. Here we go. I'm pushing on that way harder than I pushed on that one. That one flexed right over. So you can imagine if you go off road and you bash a rock with this thing, it's going to twist like a damn pretzel. Stop putting lead in your steel, China. Shit's weak. Gabbage.